good morning it is very early we woke up before sunrise to do the base walk of Uluru and we was really greeted with a, with a spectacular sunrise with all the color of the rainbow in the sky Uluru is a giant red monolith standing tall at 348 meters. But here's the cool part. It's not just big on top, it reaches two and a half kilometers in the earth and my way a massive 1.6 million tons. In terms of Aboriginal history, Uluru is sacred to the Anangu people who are its traditional custodians. The rock is associated with numerous dreamtime stories and is considered a spiritual site. Well, this is the best egg sandwich I had all day. And it's not a bad spot to eat it either. What do you think, Keith? It's a big rock. <laughs> it is a big rock. Look at this. All of those natural holes formed in the rock. And that create like a natural habitat for tiny little finches or or sparrows or little tiny little birds. There'll be a sleep there because there's no sun, but uh, it's definitely a good, uh, good ecosystem for them. They are really sheltered from the elements and uh, probably from predators as well because the uh, holes are reasonably small. It is bloody big. I had the same sensation when I went to Paris to uh, visit the Eiffel Tower. It's exactly the same. It's like, you know, you see the Eiffel Tower, say, yeah, it's the Eiffel Tower. And then you arrive at the foot of the Eiffel Tower and you realize how big it is. Well, this is exactly the same. You see picture of Uluru, you say, yeah, it's a big rock, but yeah, it is a bloody big rock. Tell me, Keith, what do you think? When it snows, it'd be really good. Yes, when it snows here, yeah. yeah really good. Absolutely, yeah. Can you imagine when it rains? Yeah. The look, look over there. You can see where the water is falling. Oh wow! This is the. This is a water hole. Look at this. Wow. I mean, it's quite dry. It is very dry, but... Can you imagine? Imagine it in a rainy day. All the water falling down here. So we nearly at the end of the 10k walk. It was awesome. The uh, the scenery is absolutely stunning. All right, so now we go into the Olgas. It's uh, called Katachuda. I don't know if I pronounce it very well. Let me have a look again how it is. Minute Katachuda. Katachuda. Olgas for the English name, which was formed probably around the same time as uh, as Uluru, but it's a much much bigger formation of individual rocks. See here, this is this is Uluru. You can see the size there on the map, and this is the Olgas Katachuta. We're going to go and have a look. Um, Probably a short walk because we've already done our 10k this morning around Uluru. All right, we'll 
see when we get there. Very different from Uluru. It feels like um, feels like we are walking on the moon. It's not that much vegetation and uh, yeah, quite rocky. So when we get out of the sun and in the shadow here, we can really see the two rocks and the valley. The two rocks meeting at the end in the valley. It's quite, it's quite amazing. And then there's quite a lot of holes in, into the rocks. And again, that'll be a paradise for all the birds. Awesome. Now, at the beginning of the walk, there was a post and they're as asking to be, you know, quiet and respectful and you can understand why you really, really want to speak very quietly here. It's like, a, it's like being in a church. It's so, uh, so peaceful and uh, and grandiose. Ah oh, well, this uh, this is it. We're leaving uh, Uluru now, and um, we had fun time. It was uh, it was really good to finally see the big rock. We only spent a couple of days here. Frankly, it's a bit expensive. Um, 65 bucks for the campsite for unpowered and frankly you've got what 30 square meters not, not even that like a, a, a car space really no water nothing so it was a bit sad the camping um, and then you have to pay an extra 38 bucks per person to just go into the the park so yeah it's a bit steep it's uh, such a unique uh, thing to see that uh, it, was, uh, it was definitely don't regret it am i going to do it next week again no anyway if you've enjoyed the video please uh, subscribe thumbs up everything and uh, definitely if you want to keep seeing our video subscribe so you get notified when i put one out there